W. M. Brady & Co. has been around since 1987, and it was founded by Mark Brady, uh, who had worked at Sotheby's and Colnaghi before setting out on his own. And our specialty is really old master through 19th century drawings and paintings, so 16th through 19th century drawings and paintings, European primarily, uh, French and Italian in particular. Um, I really love the fact that in, in so many instances, as is the case with old master paintings, but one really learns so much about a variety of different subjects, whether it's mythology, history, um, religion, social history, geography. There's so much that comes into play and so much that a drawing actually has to say about the place and the time in which it was made and about the hand that actually drew it and made it. Um, it's a bit of a puzzle and I love, I love that one can learn so much about a variety of things by just looking at a work on paper. That's what actually really um, excites me. I mean they're beautiful as well but um, I think one can actually learn a lot by looking at works on paper. I, I totally disagree that drawings are sort of, um, the, that they lack the significance that uh, a painting lacks or that somehow on some scale of importance they're less important than a painting. Uh, I completely disagree. Uh, they, they, as a rule, they're smaller in scale than paintings. Um, they're obviously much more um, transitory in terms of the material itself, a piece of paper is more fragile than a work on canvas or on panel. However, um, I just think there's, in so many instances, there's a spontaneity and a life to a drawing that might not even always exist in the finished painting if a drawing is connected to a finished picture. In my mind, oftentimes, the drawing is more exciting, more present, more uh, spontaneous than the finished painting. Um, and I think, you know, certainly in terms of the time period that we're talking about, whatever painting or paintings existed at that time, in so many instances, never would have been realized without the drawing or drawings that went into the preparation for that picture. So I actually think, I think they're very, very important. And I would think that actually, in, in my mind, they're just as important and oftentimes more exciting than the paintings. It's interesting. For um, I started within this field in the uh, uh, sort of early-ish to mid-90s, and I think for a very, very long time, collectors, even going back 200 years to the 18th century, were extremely excited by and, and sort of perhaps most excited by Italian, um, and probably Italian 16th century drawings, high Renaissance drawings, Mannerist drawings. Uh, and I think a taste for Italian drawings is still very, very strong. Um, now we've sort of gone into the 17th century as well and I think there's still very much a taste for uh, Italian 16th and 17th century drawings but I also think um, as those drawings really good quality Italian Renaissance and Baroque drawings become more rare um, people have also opened their eyes to and people have been collecting French drawings for centuries as well but French drawings are I think just as valid um, to our collectors as Italian drawings are. A great French Baroque drawing, a drawing by Poussin, it's extremely rare. And a drawing like that that would come up, we actually have one in stock right now in consignment, um, is a very exciting thing. It's a very, it's a very rare thing. Um, so I guess to answer your question, I think for us, both Italian and French drawings are sort of are really kind of on an equal footing at this point in terms of desirability and, and, and value, actually. I think, um, I think the next two years for our business within this part of the art world will probably be, uh, continue to be a bit of a challenge and, and very unlike um, the sort of previous five plus years that, that we had experienced. Um, I think we will continue to sell. I think um, our collectors will stay with us. I just think that at the volume of sales that may occur or the amount of business that we're doing will actually continue to be at a, um, uh, how can I describe it, at, at a lower level or at a slower pace um, is probably a better word. It will be a more protracted process um, uh, than it was prior to last fall. But I still think great drawings are out there. 
I still think great collectors are out there. Um, even though everybody at this stage has lost you know, a lot of money, I think that people will continue to buy and collect. It just might be on a, uh, as I said, on a smaller scale. Or you know, instead of buying five drawings over the course of a year, someone might buy one great drawing over the course of a year. So it will be on a smaller scale for sure, and the volume will be, I think, continue to be reduced. But I don't see this world of collecting disappearing completely, you know, in the next two years. I just don't see that happening.